It is a truly inspirational sight. There you are, driving or flying across vast stretches of flat, arid desert in the southern part of Australia's Northern Territory, when out of the ground, rising skywards, is this huge red rock. This large sandstone formation is known as Uluru by the local Aboriginals. For a long time, the European settlers called it Ayers Rock, after Sir Henry Ayers, the former Premier of South Australia. It now officially carries both names. So, what does Uluru mean? The local Aboriginal people say the landmark's name has no meaning other than as a local family name. It certainly is sacred to the Aboriginal people of the area, and it is treasured by other Australians, so much so it has been World Heritage listed. Start exploring around the rock and you'll find a lot of features, such as many springs, water holes, rock caves and ancient paintings. Any wonder Uluru is one of Australia's most recognisable natural icons. It towers 350 metres or 1,100 feet above the ground and is almost 10 kilometres or 6 miles around its base.